Hi everyone, I'm Margarita Muradova, a personal stylist and fashion consultant from KV Ukraine. Very happy to see you here and welcome back to people who are not new here. And uh, yeah, in this video, we're going to talk about packing for your summer holiday because to me, I feel like proper packing skills is something that's very necessary for you to enjoy your holiday as well as get the most out of it and also as well as enjoy your outfits more because packing is 50 percent of your outfits on the holiday and enjoying them and feeling like you have it all and not forgetting anything because it's very very much in the whole packing scheme in there so yeah let's get into this video And the first thing I feel like is very important in order for you to pack properly for the summer holidays, and I cannot say enough good things about preparing a list of things to pack beforehand. Obviously, I work with my clients and I've been working as a personal stylist with clients for more than 10 years now at this point. I feel very old when I say this, but um, yeah, the thing is, Preparing is 50% of the success of packing and getting there and getting everything that you need in your outfits. So getting a list beforehand of everything that you need in terms of your toiletries, beauty products, etc. is very important. And it's also important to prepare your outfits beforehand. The worst thing that you can do for yourself, unless you're like a professional stylist, you've been doing this whole styling thing for, for the last like 10 years or more, and it's very easy for you to create outfits and pull outfits together out of nothing almost then you can obviously do whatever you want and like just throw stuff into your luggage and hope for the best otherwise I recommend preparing your outfit so what I suggest doing is first of all think of the things you're very excited to have on your holidays some new purchases some things that you loved last year for the summer or on a holiday and think of them and think of styling them specifically first of all with different things and for styling tips and how to style them, what I suggest going for is laying the outfit, laying this specific item on the floor or on your bed or like on some flat surface and then putting different things with this outfit. So for example, you're very excited about some beautiful satin pants from Kate or The Row or whatever and you're trying to figure out what to style them with. So the simplest way to do this is to try and style them with the different tops in your closet. So basically just put different tops around these pants and look which of these tops make more sense throw others out and leave only the best options with these pants and then think of let's say two three max top options that you would like to pack and you prefer most with these pants and think of things that would make these pants look differently as opposed to like the same outfit formula so what i mean is for example you're packing pants and you're thinking this top this like oversized linen shirt would go with these pants but also this oversized wool shirt or this oversized silky shirt would go with these but you even though you would wear these two different tops you will end up with the same kind of outfit formula for your look so what I suggest going for is for example you're picking one oversized shirt let's say linen oversized shirt to wear with these pants but this one would be unbuttoned with a tank top under it and then some flats and then some beach bag that would be one outfit formula but another outfit formula would be pairing these pants with a buttoned silky shirt with some heels and a clutch for the evening and another outfit formula so we're talking about different proportions and style work for this look would be pairing these silky pants with a crop top or a bra top and some heels and a clutch there you end up with three different outfits basically circled around the same pants but with different tops 
as opposed to the same outfit formula. So pants and a shirt, pants and a shirt, pants and a shirt. And the only difference is that these shirts with are different materials. So it would feel absolutely differently and you would feel absolutely differently in these three outfits as opposed to this outfit with the same style of a shirt but in a different material because in this case you would definitely feel like you're wearing the same thing over and over again. So always make sure when you're creating outfits you obviously want to max out the possibilities and capabilities of this specific thing you would like to style so pants or dress or whatever but always think about how it will end up looking will it be the same outfit formula or will it have a different vibe because of different proportions and stylistic tricks and so on the first thing you need to obviously do is pick out these exciting items and then style them with different tops or with different bottoms but always think of the way these things would work with each other so for example you've styled these pants with like a top and then a crop top and then a tank top and then an unbuttoned shirt and when you're picking the next thing you're excited about for example a skirt think if this skirt would be looking beautiful with this tank top Top and that shirt or with that silky top or with that crop top to max out the capabilities of this whole let's say capsule wardrobe and what I usually suggest going for especially if you're like spatially challenged in your baggage is going for a capsule wardrobe where different things work with everything around this whole capsule unless you get very bored of wearing the same thing over and over in your summer holiday collection and then you should definitely pick different outfits and different items but most of the time like 99 out of 100 cases that I come up with and I work with with my clients and different people is that most people feel very comfortable with wearing the same thing over and over again when it's styled differently so that's what I suggest usually going for so when you're doing this you've laid out different items you're excited about you've styled them always think of the shoes and then the bags and accessories so everything that has to go with the outfit and first of all do not edit yourself right away throw in there everything that you'd like to style and everything that you're excited about and then when you've laid it all out and you've styled everything and lay out all the bags that could work with this outfit all the shoes that could work with this outfit you start the editing process and you take out the things that do not make sense in the grand scheme of things so let's say these shoes can only be styled and can only work with this specific outfit out of the whole 15 outfits that you have but these sandals let's say work with everything so there are a priority in my book so I would go with these sandals as opposed to something that's very unique to a specific one outfit in your holiday outfit formulas and then you continue the editing process and you look at the specific bag and you see that this bag only works with one outfit but this let's say straw bag works with half of the outfits so that's the preferred bag for this whole holiday and you continue doing this whole editing process up to a point where you feel like it all makes sense so each and every outfit works all of these things work together and there's some similarity in the outfits so for example this shirt works with this pants and these let's say shorts and this crop top works with this skirt and then these shorts and also these pants so it all works together it's very coherent it looks like a capsule wardrobe it fits in your luggage that's also one thing to remember you need to think of the amount in the space you have in your luggage and also you need to remember that not only your clothes need to fit in your luggage but also your toiletries and they actually take a lot of space and your hair tools and your shoes and accessories and other stuff medicine whatever you need so always make sure that everything fits in your bag then once you've done styling what I suggest doing is taking a picture of each and every outfit and before that I even suggest going as far as to trying on each and every outfit because 
not everything that you picture in your head working ends up working in the end if you know what i mean so sometimes proportions just don't work out and you're dressing yourself and you're wearing these pants and you're, you put on this crop top and it just doesn't work proportionally wise so then you have to come up with something different so i'd suggest taking a picture of this outfit making sure that it actually works on you when it's on and then after you did this i suggest most of the time Time, packing your outfits not by types of items so packing your tops together and then pants together and everything I'd suggest actually to make your life much easier going for packing cubes and packing your looks by looks in that packing cube so one look goes into one packing cube or if it's a big packing cube let's say four looks go into one packing cube and it's going to be so much easier to process these outfits when you're in your destination because when you unpack you just go whoop 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 and hang everything by the outfits and then you also have this beautiful reminder in your phone photo album with all the outfits and all the pictures of the outfits so it's so much easier for you to style everything and to work with everything and also unpack and then pack it back also for each and every item and when i say each and every item i actually mean it i suggest not folding them but rolling them especially for silky things because silky dresses tops skirts crease so much when you're packing them and folding them as opposed to rolling them and also rolling an item makes it take so much less space than folding it and putting it in a packing cube but also rolling your item and putting it in your packing cube will actually save you so much space in your bag because it kind of compresses all of it especially when you're kind of putting the packing cube in your bag and you're closing it it's going to compress and take out all the air bubbles out of the packing cube so you're going to save so much space and you're going to obviously have so much more space for different things in your closet and your bag also in terms of packing bags and different bulky items i suggest going for this kind of approach for hats i suggest especially for like straw hats so things that could compress easily and could crease easily and could wound easily what that i suggest going for is packing some kind of bulky items like socks underwear or even like soft bags into the top of your hat and putting it downwards and then putting all the packing cubes around the top of your hat so that it keeps its shape and it doesn't crease and also for your shoes obviously put your shoes in some dust bags or other packing cubes in order for your shoes not to stain the clothing in your bag but also make sure to kind of work with the whole packing system like you'd work with a tetris placement so think of things that are pretty small and narrow think of things that take a lot of space and are bulky and adjust them and put them in your bag accordingly so if your shoes are very narrow put them somewhere in like the side portion of the bag as opposed to the middle of the bag and if the bag or like a hat is bulky put it in the middle and put the packing cubes around it so it's definitely and honestly like a fun or not so fun tetris game and uh, the last thing i'd suggest always 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 think of saving some space in your luggage because you take so much time packing your stuff but when you're going back actually for meal holiday do not necessarily have the willpower or the time to take as much time and effort to put everything properly so what usually you end up with and a lot of people struggle with is that when you're packing your bags back for some reason even though for example you didn't buy anything things just take so much space in your bag as opposed to when you were traveling to your destination because you don't take time to put everything properly to roll everything properly and also you have some dirty items in your bag so you need to put them away in a separate dust bag so always make sure when you're packing there to your destination always make sure that there's some free space in your luggage to accommodate that level of untidiness that you will have when you travel back and basically this is the whole gist of your packing 
tips that I have for you today. Let me know in the comments below if there's some tips that you have that worked for you for all of that travel that you had. And yeah, this is it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Slava Ukraini and bye!